2024 Lamborghini Huracan Dorado First Drive Review Please support us by pressing the like button and subscribe so that this channel will grow and provide many benefits for you, thank you. The Lamborghini Countach, one of the automaker's most famous products, got its name from the Piedmontese vulgarity Countach, which literally means contagion but is now used to describe a person or thing of breathtaking beauty. If you believe legendary factory driver Valentino Balboni, the name stuck when Lembo engineers pulled the sheets off of a development mule, prompting a security guard in the room to take in its outrageous design and unconsciously utter, ah, Countach. For decades later, I found myself uttering a whole bunch of other expletives in reference to the 2024 Lamborghini Huracan Dorado. Powered by a naturally aspirated, 602 horsepower V10, the Storado builds on the Huracan via a 1.7-inch suspension lift, wider front and rear track, and, wait for it, Bridgestone Dueler all-terrain tires. The primary benefit of those tweaks is excellent performance in the dirt, as well as improved around town comfort and still impressive cornering prowess on the tarmac. But the only thing you'll be thinking when you drift the Storado through the desert sand is, ah, Countach. The 2024 Storado is a totally different animal, design-wise, than its siblings. The taller stance and knobby tires are given since it's intended to be an off-road supercar, with a roof-mounted air intake providing clean, dust-free air to the engine. Its placement and routing erase any view out the rear window, but the Storado looks so cool that such practical matters are immaterial. And a pair of driving lights on the nose, in addition to make the off-roader legal for rally competition, take the same hexagonal shape as the exhaust outlet and air intake, giving the Storado a cohesive design in spite of its wacky extensions and alterations. If I had a complaint, it'd be the exposed hardware on the off-road lights and fender flares, this is a Lamborghini, after all, not a Ram 1500 that had a date with the JC Whitney catalog. Even so, the design alterations from Huracan to Storado are functional, distinctive, and just a bit juvenile. What more could you want from the Raging Bull? Inside, the standard Huracan's flat-bottom steering wheel, chunky aluminum shift paddles, and missile launch start button give it enough flair, so Storado changes are minor. Thinly padded, lightweight racing bucket seats come standard on the off-road special, as does Storado Verde Alcantara upholstery on the chairs, dashboard, door panels, and headliner. A foreboding rally marking on the drive mode selector replaces the Corsa setting, providing a clear indication of the Storado's intended use case. Oh, and there's also the massive integrated roll cage, dominating the rearview mirror's reflection. Cabin comfort is, uh, not phenomenal. At 6 feet tall and with a 32-inch inseam, I'm right at the upper limit of what the Huracan can accommodate, my taller co-driver had to slouch down in his seat to give his noggin enough space, which then forced his legs to splay out on either side of the steering wheel. But thanks to the taller ride and longer travel suspension, the Storado has a smooth, well-damped ride on broken pavement, and abundant ground clearance makes it much less intimidating to drive over speed bumps and on steep driveways. But although the off-road Huracan is arguably a better daily driver than its siblings, none of the 1,499 customers who snapped it up are likely to care about such pedestrian matters. So with their needs sympathetically in mind, I took it on myself to give the Storado a thorough ringing out on the snaking roads that surround Palm Springs. In aggressive on-road driving, it should come as no surprise that the Storado isn't quite as buttoned down as other members of the Huracan family. For starters, the off-road special's 5.2-liter V10 makes just 602 horsepower and 413 pound-feet, compared to 631 and 442 for the rest of the lineup. At 3,507 pounds, the Storado is also about 100 pounds heavier than the all-wheel drive Evo, and it has a higher center of gravity. But in spite of a spec chart that looks comparatively meager, the Storado is a sweetheart of a car to drive quickly on a winding canyon road. Its slightly downrated power notwithstanding, the Storado makes all the right noises when being pushed hard, with prodigious thrust coming online at about 4,000 RPM and lasting all the way to the V10's 8,500 rev redline. The column-mounted shift paddles take control of an instantaneously reactive 7-speed dual-clutch transmission, which oblige each high RPM upshift with a snarling bark befitting a supercar. 
And there's plenty of snap crackle pop on over rev to ensure that engine braking and deceleration are as much fun as flooring it away from a stoplight. Despite lower absolute cornering limits, the Huracan Storado still handles confidently. The weight balance is biased rearward, with 57% riding on the rear axle, so turn-in is instant and responsive, with all four wheels transmitting plenty of info to your fingertips and backside. Get on the throttle too early and the front end goes a little floaty, likely a function of the all-terrain rubber and higher stance, but the car gives you plenty of warning before you overdo it. Ease off the throttle and the nose tucks right back in. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.